Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part of my A Diary of an Army Girlfriend series. If you are new here, I have an entire collection of videos on being a military significant other. I also do a bunch of perfume review videos, fitness related videos, vlogging. There's a whole bunch of stuff here on my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julie and you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. But let us get into what today's video is going to be all about and that is my very first military ball experience. As you guys may know, if you you watch my vlogs, I was shopping for my first military ball a couple of days ago or weeks ago at this point, and the military ball happened, so here's my video talking about my very first military ball. So I saw a post on his company's Facebook page a couple of weeks before he even brought up the fact that there was going to be a military ball, but I already kind of like knew that there was one. I just, I didn't want to push him if he didn't want to go. I wasn't gonna be like, hey, I saw that there's like this ball and like we should go, because you know, if he doesn't want to go, I'm not gonna make him go. It's his army ball, not mine. But finally, a little bit over a week before the ball was gonna happen, he finally brought it up to me. He said that there's this ball and he's gonna need a date named Julie Vorobyev. And I was like, wow, that's gonna be really hard to find. That is a very specific name. Good luck finding that date. And thus began my whirlwind of getting ready for a ball in a different state than me. I don't have a dress, I don't have flights booked, I don't have a hotel booked, it's just madness. <laughs> Once he asked me to come to the ball, I instantly knew that I wanted to be wearing emerald green. Just that came to mind right away. I was like, emerald green. That's what I want to wear. I need an emerald green dress and I need it now. Apparently emerald green is a little bit hard to find for some reason. Royal blue, super easy. Black, even easier. Emerald green, kind of hard to find. I booked my flight, I booked my hotel, and then I began my online shopping through the night, just scrolling through all of the websites, just trying to find the dress. I wanted my dress to be classy, elegant, to complement the colors of his uniform, not clash with them. And of course to steer clear of looking too prom-like, you know, too poofy, frilly, sequiny, too many cutouts, too low cut, too high of a hem at the bottom, just, you know, trying to look like I'm going to a formal army traditional ball. Finally, after hours of scouring the internet, I found the dress, I ordered the dress, it arrived two days later. If you guys would like to see the photo from the ball, go to my Instagram, at Julie Jigsaw. I posted our full body shot on there so you guys could go like that and, you know, tell us that we look really dashing. <laughs> so the dress showed up two days later and now I needed all of the accessories to go with it. As for jewelry, I finally had an excuse to wear all of like the pearls that my grandmothers have given me. I never really have an excuse to wear pearls. I feel like they're almost too grandma to wear, but they kind of went really well with the dress. So I wore a pearl necklace, pearl bracelets some pearl earrings and a whole bunch of little diamonds in all of my other holes in my ears. If you guys didn't know, I've got like a bunch of holes in my ears. And if you guys don't have these kinds of earrings in your ears, you don't understand how annoying it is to put these back in your ears. It's just, I hate changing my earrings. It's just such a hassle, but I did it because I wanted to look good. Even though my hair covered my ears during the ball anyway, in case for some reason my hair just blew in the wind, I wanted people to know that I went through the effort of putting in different earrings. I needed to find a new pair of heels and I did vlog me shopping for my heels and there's a really funny moment where my neighbor scares me to death at the mall so you guys should go check out the vlog. I think it says shopping for my first military ball is in the title so go check out that video if you haven't already. I was also shopping for a cute clutch bag to go with my dress and I couldn't find anything in stores so once again the online shopping ensues and I found a bag and it thankfully arrived the night before I flew down. I flew down a couple of days before the ball because I wanted to be you know calm not travel brained and my boyfriend had a little bit of time off because of the ball so we did get to spend a little bit of extra time together which was awesome and within the two days before the ball I really got like the full army experience of plans changing left and right, like they're gonna wear this thing on their uniform, now they're gonna take that off. No, but actually we're gonna put that back on. Actually, no, an hour before the ball, he needs to take that back off again. So just the amount of times that I watched him pin and unpin and rearrange things on his uniform was just insanity. I was just busy, you know, curling my hair and putting on some lipstick, but... <laughs> But in the end, he did look dashing if I do say so myself. I love that part of the uniform for the ball was to wear a bow tie. I never in my entire life thought that I would ever see him in a bow tie, but I did and I loved every single second of it. That's so the day of the ball and I managed to book my hotel literally like right next door to the hotel where the ball was happening. I didn't even realize until later. I was like, oh, it's literally like we can see the hotel where we're gonna be going to the ball at from our hotel, so that was awesome. The ball started at 5 p.m., so we hopped in the car at like 4.55 and, you know, drove literally like less than a quarter of a mile from one parking lot to another. 
And then the ball began. So the festivities began at 5 p.m. with a cocktail hour. As people were arriving, they had a little photo station set up. People were getting a few drinks at the bar. There was a bunch of mingling and greeting each other. Right about at 6 p.m., there was an announcement to head into the room where the ceremony was going to take place. And on your way in, there is what is called the receiving line. Basically, as you walk into the room, there is going to be a line of really important people and they are going to welcome you to the ball, shake your hand, greet you, they're gonna try to get your name right, you're gonna try to get their name right. Once you finish with the receiving line, you head on into the room and you try to find your seats where you are going to be having your dinner. Once everyone is seated, they post the colors, the national anthem is sung, then the ceremony begins with a couple of speeches. Once the speeches are done, a little bit of craziness ensues with the grog ceremony. If you've never been to a ball, you may be asking yourself right now, what is grog? Well, I'll tell you what grog is. Grog is everything. Everything filled with alcohol. There is a giant vat, and every company leader comes up to the vat, gives a tiny little speech as to why their bottle of booze is the bottle of booze that they chose, and then they pour that bottle into the vat. There were, I believe, six or seven different types of alcohol in that grog. I remember there being tequila, gin, Jägermeister, Captain Morgan, and some other things. And then just for good measure, they threw in a sock. Yes, a literal sock. No, that is not some fancy term for some sort of alcohol. No, a literal sock. Once the concoction was complete and stirred up, you would take your cup and go get a serving of grog for the toasts. I'm pretty sure at all balls, there is a small gift waiting for you at your seat at the dinner table. For us, it was a cup engraved with the date, the name of the ceremony, and it had the little battalion logo on it. Actually, the hotel staff, when they were cleaning up the dinner tables, they like took all of the special engraved cups, because I guess they assumed that they were part of the hotel stuff, but they very obviously weren't, and I managed to snag two of them. They weren't even the ones that were ours at the beginning, but I grabbed two of them because they took them all away. Like, don't they realize that those are our gifts? Can they not take those away? <laughs> After all of the toasts and the tribute to the fallen comrades, it is now Time for dinner. Dinner gets served, everybody eats and is merry, and after about 45 minutes to an hour, there was another speech given by the chosen speaker for the ceremony, and a couple of awards were handed out. After the awards ceremony, some songs were sung, and the colors were retired, and then the battalion was free to get rowdy, but not too rowdy, just a little bit rowdy. There was a DJ and an open dance floor, and everyone had a good time just dancing and hanging out once the, all of the formalities were over with. I am so happy that we went to his first army ball. It was definitely an experience that we will never forget. I love being able to see all of the formal traditions of the army and being able to be a part of it. I loved meeting all of the people that my boyfriend works with all of the time as well as all of their significant others. It was great to be able to put like faces to names and you know actually get to meet the people that he tells me all these stories about like to actually see them in the flesh like oh hey I've heard so much about you you know that kind of thing. Obviously if we lived together I probably would have met these people at some other point but seeing as our current situation this is the first time that I met a lot of the people that he talks about, so that was really nice to finally be able to see them all. I loved seeing everybody all dressed up, especially ourselves, like, if I do say so myself, we looked great. <laughs> seeing the ceremony and hearing all of the speeches given was wonderful, and I always love just hearing, like, hundreds of soldiers doing cadences and songs. There's just something so powerful about hearing all of them just chanting and roaring. It's, I, I love it. And of course, after all of the formalities were over, it was definitely a great evening filled with laughter and fun, and I really enjoyed getting to know the people that he spends his days with. So I think I covered all of my bases. If you guys still have like any questions about my personal experience or general questions about military balls, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you guys want to see photos, I did already mention that I posted them on Instagram. I posted at least the full body shot, and I'm probably gonna post like a selfie or two. We didn't really take too many photos, like we were kind of just immersed in the experience. So I'll probably post the selfies at some point, but I do post quite a bit on Instagram, so if you're not already following me, make sure that you are. Overall, I am so happy that we went and I am definitely going to cherish this memory that we got to share forever. And I am already looking forward to the next time we get to go to a army ball. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. If you have any topics, suggestions, questions, all that good stuff that are related to being a military significant other, 
leave all that in the comment section down below and I may use your ideas for an upcoming video. If you would like to keep up with me on all of my social media platforms, I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!